Prepare the required tools: knife, ruler, wood board, hot melt, glue gun, etc. Polish hand the original model. Fix the model on the board with clay. Choose the right part to mold on. Normally, the mold can be made in two pieces and also can be multi pieces for complex products. Position the mold line on the top of the mold when drying, and run around the face and eyes of the mold as possible as you can. Pile up the clay under the mold line. The clay cannot be too hard, and it cannot be any gaps between the mold and the clay. Smooth the surface of the clay with your moistened fingers. After fixing the clay, dig in the holes evenly on the clay to make a latch. The latch can gather the silicone rubber mold much better, and avoid the dislocation between two pieces of silicone rubber mold. The latch should be about one centimeter away from the mold. Remove the surplus clay. Brush detergent or soapy water evenly on the surface of the mold, so that the mold could separate with the silicone rubber mold easily. Then dry it with an air gun. According to the complicated structure of the size of the products, we choose the type of silicone rubber which has a low viscosity and hardness, like Hong Ye HY628 silicone rubber. Mix silicone rubber and curing agent evenly. The proportion of the curing is 2% to 5%. Then put them into the vacuum container to pump the air out of the silicone rubber. Reduce the curing agent proportion if you don't have a vacuum pump machine, which can extend the curing time to exhaust the bubbles. After vacuum pumping. Brush the first layer of silicone rubber evenly on the mold. The first layer of silicone rubber should be thinner than one millimeter, which is to cover the mold and the clay thinly. Brush the second layer of silicone rubber till the first one is cured, about 15 minutes. The proportion of curing agent in second layer of silicone rubber should be higher than the first one. It would spend five to eight minutes to cure. After brushing the second or the third layer of silicone rubber, cover the gauze. When the silicone stops flowing, the gauze can increase the tension and the strength of the mold. According to the size of the product, add one more layer of gauze. Generally, it will not cover more than two layers of gauze. Make the raising out mold after the silicone rubber mold is solidified. It wouldn't need to pan Vaseline on the mold as silicone rubber will not stick with resin. Pan a layer of resin evenly first, and cover a layer of gloss fiber. Then pan a layer of resin. The gloss fiber can increase the tension and strength of the outer mold. A big mold. Should be covered three to five layers of gloss fiber, while the small one should be covered one to three layers. Separate the mold till the resin solidified completely. Clean the clay, dry it with an air gun, brush Vaseline on the surface of silicone rubber and original mold. Then repeat the steps above. After gypsum cured. Take out the out mold and trim silicon mold and gypsum out mold. We make some holes by the electric drill on the mold of the linking part, for fastening the mold by the screw.
process is done, the silicon rubber mold can be used into production after 24 hours, and it should be stored in ventilated, cool, and dry place.